Hi, my name is Eleanor Diver, and I am the uh, radon coordinator for the state of Utah Department of Environmental Quality. So one in three homes have elevated radon levels. That's why it is so important and critical that all homeowners and residents of Utah test their homes for radon. And our elevated radon level is anything above four picocuries. It is super important for people to test their home for radon because you might have levels like 25, 100, 50, 18, you never know what your levels are and you might be that one in three that has those elevated levels. And since it can cause lung cancer, it is super important to test your home for radon. So testing is so easy, you can do it yourselves and it's inexpensive. So on our website, radon.utah.gov, you can purchase a radon test kit for $8.95 and everything is included in that $8.95. So the test kit, the laboratory fee, and the shipping. If you were to go to a hardware store, for example, you would pay $12 to get out the door, usually a $35 lab fee, and then about $10 to ship it. Radon gets into your home from the breakdown of uranium that's naturally occurring in the Earth's atmosphere. So the, the uranium is there present in the soil and it's going to break down as the Earth's natural process. And as it breaks down, radon is created and formed and that radon seeps up in through cracks in the foundation or little parts of the home where it can get up into the home and then you breathe it in. If you find that you have elevated radon levels, a mitigation system costs about $1,200 to $1,500. You'll want to make sure you only use a certified mitigator and you can get those names and companies off of our website. I love so many parts of my job because I get to assist low-income families with testing their homes for radon, helping them find ways to mitigate their homes for radon. I love working with other state agencies and local agencies to make this state a better, healthier place to live. At DEQ, our mission is to protect our air, land, and water through balanced regulation.